You remember how surprised the world scientists were when they looked through their thousand-inch telescope and saw Rocky and Bullwinkle flying back from the moon. But when the boys made their one-point landing, the explanation was ridiculously simple. Bullwinkle had tried to bake a quick rising cake from his grandmother's recipe. The result, naturally, was... the world's most powerful rocket fuel. Bullwinkle was immediately ordered to go to work for the government to duplicate the recipe, which, unfortunately, had been torn in half in the explosion. Yeah, I know how much, but not what of. Everybody was interested in the result, including two notorious spies, Boris Badenov and Natasha Fatal. Failing in their attempt to get the formula, they decided to do away with the moose. So Natasha handed him a ticking package containing 14 sticks of dynamite, wired to go off in 30 seconds. I'd plan to leave in a couple of minutes. Don't worry, darling. You will. But as Natasha tried to open the door, she found it had been locked behind her. The key! Where's the cotton-picking key? Oh, the key. Well, uh, I got it here somewhere. 18 seconds, 17, 16... But see, here's the key to my locker at PS84. Hurry up, please. Key to my hope chest. It's little, because I'm kind of hopeless. I must go quickly. I'm doing my level best. 12, 11, 10. Three trunk keys, in case I ever grow a trunk. Time is running out. Eight, seven, six. Hey, that one belongs to the Frostbite Falls Volunteer Fire Department. Yeah, wonder how they're starting the engine these days. Give me my package, you fool. Three, two, one. That's what I like, precision timing. A few minutes later, Bullwinkle found the right key and the furious Natasha left to meet her partner in crime. Boris promised to meet me here. Where is he? Oh, there you are, darling. What do we do next? We do what any intelligent, self-sufficient spy with real initiative would do. We wait for instructions. Meanwhile, the fact that Bullwinkle's rocket fuel was made from his grandmother's fudge cake recipe was having a great effect on the whole country. Top scientists discarded their most complex apparatus. Erwin, go get me an eight-inch cake tin and a set of cookie cutters. Colleges changed their course of study. This year, gentlemen, we will study atomic structure, nuclear physics, and fudge making. The effect spread to other countries. But you are top nuclear physicist. How come you are sent to Siberia? My biscuits were too heavy. In the USA, grandmothers rose to national prominence. As advisors to the president? It's raining. You'd better put on your rubbers. As scientists? I'd like you to meet our new head of research and development. Hello, boys. Even bathing beauty contests took on a new look. Grandmothers reigned supreme. In their own laboratory, Rocky and Bullwinkle were still hard at work. Here's the latest one, Rocky. Will it make a good rocket fuel, Bullwinkle? Well, I don't know, but it'll sure make a dandy lunch. <laughs> the boys wouldn't have been so happy if they had chance to look behind them, for at that moment, a scaly green hand was raising a strange weapon and pointing it right at their heads. Don't miss the next exciting episode, Bullseye Bullwinkle or Destination Moose. Just enough left to tell him who the sponsor was. You got the credits, Bullwinkle? All on this itty bitty card. Oop.